And now to decision 2020. Local clerk recorders say the ballot ballot counting after Super Tuesday is going smoothly despite a hiccup last night in San Luis Obispo County. KSBY news reporter Alex Gonzalez is live in San Luis Obispo with that story. Alex. Good evening, Karina. The San Luis Obispo County Clerk Recorder held a call center operation yesterday to assist voters to partake in the election without having to use a provisional ballot. But after a glitch in the state's voter information system, that process did slow down but was eventually fixed. There have been a lot of changes we implemented and I think everything kind of went off without a hitch. This coming after a glitch in the state's voter information database slowed down the voting process in Slow County. According to the clerk recorder, the glitch forced 15 counties, including San Luis Obispo, to have to look up voter information and print ballots manually. It was eventually corrected. In total, Slow County received about 70,000 ballots and is processing thousands. It's just become the nature of the beast during the canvas with that many vote by mobile ballots coming back to us that we have to take that time to process those. Gong says that as long as a ballot was postmarked by Election Day and the county receives it by the Friday following Election Day, it will be counted. It might just take more time to get through them. Well, it's pretty simple for us because we do mail-in, so we don't have to deal with the polls or anything. Um, so we found it really simple. Gong says he expects to have updated numbers for San Luis Obispo County this Friday. The county clerk recorder for Santa Barbara County says he expects to have that update Monday of next week. Live in San Luis Obispo, I'm Alex Gonzalez, KSBY News. All right, Alex, thank you. And the Santa Barbara County clerk recorder says election night went smoothly. Joe Holland says there are more than 38,000 outstanding vote by mail ballots that need to be counted.